Hi, this is Months with Months in Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Call Me Up by Thomas Rhett. And it starts out with this really, really cool intro lick. If you wanted to kind of follow those notes, you can start fourth fret on the G, third fret on the B string, and then fifth on the high E, and then fifth on the B string. It's kind of a bend, so I'm kind of playing that note and pressing up and into the guitar at the same time. And then we kind of take that fifth fret on the B and do a slide to seventh fret, fifth fret on the high E twice. And then back to seven on the B, and then fifth on the B. So we're gonna kind of follow those notes at the very beginning. Kind of four, three, five, 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 seven, five, five, seven, five, four, three, three, five, 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 seven, five, five, seven, five. And uh, there's kind of a tag lick to that where you can kind of start almost the same way, kind of fourth on the G, third foot on the B, and then fourth foot on the G, second foot on the G. Second fret on the D string is kind of a slide to fourth fret, and then bag the second fret on the D. So all the way through that intro, that way you might want to follow those kind of that B D A E E F sharp A A F sharp B four three three five 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 seven five five seven five four three three five 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 seven five five seven five. Five, seven, five, five, seven, five that would kind of back that up would start on a G major chord. I normally do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the low E third, and third finger on the high E third. And if you strum all those together, it sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy. And you may also think I'm putting third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. You kind of working that for your G major. And then from the G we'd be going to an A major chord. I normally do this first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B second. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also dig on lifting off the third finger and making an A sus2. We're adding in the pinky on the B third for an A suspended and kind of saying some stuff around the A. Or you may dig on an A7 sus, doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of working that for the A. It sounds more unresolved, but that might make that chord change a little bit easier from the G and then to A. And you may want to kind of just try a down count on that kind of strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we take the G and just try that line. So we try that through our intro verse. And the G, da, da. gravitating to is something called the 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot at the B, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the G and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. And then on the third beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So kind of one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. Down, up, Then we're going into our main chorus idea. 
Now we start off on the G major, and then we go to A, just like our verses. But then you'll kind of hear where the bass changes to the low E string on the second fret F sharp note. And you could back that up a couple different ways. You, could, you may gravitate towards an F sharp minor chord. We'll talk about some easy options here too, but normally you do the second fret bar. Third finger on the A, fourth fret, pinky on the D, fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F minor chord and sounds really sad. You may also dig on lifting off the pinky and making that an F sharp minor seven. Or adding in the pinky on the B string, fifth fret. Or if you're just starting out, what can also be cool is to follow that bass note, kind of around almost a D major chord, by using something called a D sus slash F sharp. So you can do first finger on the low E, second fret. Second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high third. Definitely sounds more unresolved, um, but that might be kind of a cool option for the F sharp minor if you want to avoid the bars. And then from the F sharp minor, we'd be going to the B minor chord. And normally you do this as a second fret bar. Second finger on the B third, third finger on the D fourth, pinky on the G fourth. If you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord and sounds really sad. Or you may dig on lifting the pinky and make that a B minor seven. Or another way to play B minor seven. First finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high E second. Now working that for the B minor. Or you may dig on working kind of a drone voicing for this, doing first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Working that for your B minor. Or you may even dig on lifting off the pinky and making that a B minor 11. Kind of working that for the B minor. So you have kind of your G. slash F sharp, you may want to stay on the low strings, kind of with your downs for that chord. Or you can use your down, down, up, up, down, up. They have the G, A, F sharp minor, B minor. Or if you're digging on the 16th idea, they have the G, A, F sharp minor. Too, where you could play third fret on the B. It kind of stays there for a while. Kind of that first time through. But then you'll start hearing that turn into this cool little melody where you could play the third fret on the B, second on the B, open B, and then second on the G. It's kind of a like three, two, oh, two. Three, two, oh, two. a second fret on the high E string, and then fifth fret on the high E, and then an open E kind of at the end of that. So you want to kind of try and follow that lick with the chords. And then the main thing here, like on the G, and this could be a little weird, is, is kind of holding on to that second fret on the low E string bass. And we'll talk about more basses in a moment. But just kind of holding on to that. You can almost kind of get that lick to kind of come out around the G. Three, two, oh, two, A, three, two, oh, two, F sharp minor, three, two, oh, two, B minor, three, two, oh, two. So you might want to kind of play around with that note or try and find a way to kind of work that with the chords. And then from there, then we'll be going into our next verse. Now, one other thing I think about adding to the song, though, is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So the G, you'd have the low E for the bass. A, you'd have the A for the bass. The F sharp minor, the D slash F sharp, you'd have the E for the bass. And the B minor, you'd have the A for the bass. So we turn our next verse with the bass down, up, up, down, up. You'd have the G. Chorus and kind of our bridges following that same progression back to our, our chorus for the outro. 
And on that part, you could really work any of those ways we've been talking about. So you have a G. where if you hit the bass note, it gives you a lot of freedom. It's like your, your ears establish that chord with just the bass note. of how you get served through Call Me Up by Thomas Rhett. So good luck. Hi, wherever you are in YouTube land, this is Munson Summer with Munson Music Live, Munson Guitar Songs, Munson Covers, and Munson Jam Tracks. Thanking you for watching this video, and I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see lots more like it. I'm always open to your requests. If you have the song that you love, please let me know so I can write it down on the request list so I can add that to it because there are probably other people out there who love that song too and would love to learn how to play it. So thanks so much for all the love that you give me and I hope that you're doing well and, and kind of figuring out how you can talk with the, the instrument. Um, we are a small music shop in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina and, and you're supporting us by, by watching this channel. Really appreciate all that love. So best of luck and I, I, let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you in, in particular too. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook. Um, you can leave a message here in the comments section and I'm, I, I respond to all the comments that, that I get. So best of luck to you wherever you are.